welcome back to Wings as Eagles Ministry. Today I'm going to be answering another question, and this is going to go into our how-to type series that we're doing. And again, I'm not an expert, and these aren't right or wrong ways. I just want to try to offer my advice or my opinion on something I've been asked about. The question was, is there a length of time we need to pray when we pray? A certain amount of time. I'll answer that in just a moment, but first let me say this. Uh, if you noticed our previous video, my daughter has put together uh, our very first short. So we're going to be posting a few shorts here and there. And these shorts will be probably more family oriented. Maybe a little 30 second clip of us out doing something. Or, or if you tune into our last short, you'll get to hear my daughter laughing. So you might like that. We're actually in a Chick-fil-A waiting line. And my daughter and my wife are really enjoying the song about Cincinnati. So please give that last short listen. Give it a thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. But these will be more family oriented. They'll be more maybe us, you know, uh, doing something out in the yard or maybe a trip fishing or something. And we'll share a 15, 30 second clip to try to, you know, give something, a, a piece of our life. To somebody else where y'all can share and feel like we're all one big happy family here at this channel because we appreciate each and every one of you. Now, back to the question, is there a length of time to pray? Okay, uh, some people set times and some people feel like they, you know, I know there's some people that they like to use that as a gauge and tell people, I prayed X amount of time. Okay, the answer is no. There's nowhere in the Bible that the Bible tells you pray an X amount of minutes a day or at a time. Now, the book of Daniel actually says in Daniel chapter 6 and verse number 10, it says that Daniel prayed three times a day, but it doesn't say the length of time. It just said Daniel prayed three times a day. It doesn't say everybody prays three times a day. So if you don't pray three times a day, it don't make you any less of a Christian than it does somebody that prays uh, two times, three times, one time, or five times. Uh, so the length of time is is not a gauge, okay? And I'll prove it to you again here in just a minute. But uh, we can also see some prayers. Let's use a couple of examples, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you a minute. Okay, somebody says, "Well, you've got to pray X amount of time to really get through to God." You know, you've got to really pray. You know, an hour. When you get down to pray. All right. First, let me use the example of the thief on the cross. You know what he said? The thief on the cross, when he was dying, hanging there, obviously he didn't have an hour to pray. But the thief on the cross said, Lord, remember me when you come into thy kingdom. What was that? Just 30 seconds. But that prayer, Jesus heard. And he said, this day you will be with me in paradise. Jesus heard and answered that little 30-second prayer. Okay, now, if you want to go into the Old Testament, let's use another man. Let's use a man by the name of Nehemiah. And I won't go into the whole story, but let's just say Nehemiah prayed a very, very powerful intercessory prayer for his people. Nehemiah did. You know how long that prayer took? Seven verses. Seven verses. So it couldn't have been very long. And, you know, uh, let's just go to Jesus himself. You know, Jesus gave us the model prayer that we use, the Lord's Prayer. If you repeat the Lord's Prayer, which I believe we need to pray and have, a, have a, our own prayer, but if you repeat the Lord's Prayer, for example, it takes probably about two minutes, okay? Now, I'm not saying pray two minutes and that's all you have to pray. I'm not saying that. I'm just using that as an example, and what we're saying today is there is no length of time. The thing that I want to leave with you in this video is it is not the quantity, but it is the quality. Now, when you talk about quantity, you're talking about numbers. Well, in this case, we're talking about numbers. We're talking about minutes or, or how many minutes, the 60 minutes or an hour, which is 60 minutes. You know, we're talking about that as a number. Okay. Now, that is, it might be a number to you, okay, quantity, but Jesus looks at quality. I remember one time when, and I'm just going to use an example of myself, when over the years I've been asked to pray 
for an hour. You know, maybe some group of people wanted or, or everybody would say, wherever you're at that day, I'll pray. Let's all pray together for an hour and whatever. And that's fine. You know, I'm not against, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But here's what I am saying. A lot of times when you are supposed to, when you get down and you think you're going to pray for an hour, do you know what you usually end up doing? You end up usually just praying, saying words rather than really getting down with meaning. Do you know why? Because you've got a set schedule on your mind and you keep looking at your watch. When is the hour up? You know, and then you, you've prayed and you've prayed and you've prayed and you look down and you've went 21 minutes and you think, oh my goodness, I've still got almost 40 minutes to go, you know. And then you go back and you think, well, Lord, let's see. Let's, let, let me pray about something else, you know. So that's why I say a lot of times, I don't really get into that, let's all pray an hour. You know what I think would be better to say? If everybody wants to say, hey, at a set time, let's all pray at a set time that day. Then you can pray however long you need to. The answer to this question is this. How long do you have to pray? Or is there a set time? No, there's not a set time. This is communication between you and God. And when you feel like you're done, when you feel like you've prayed, when you've poured out your heart to God, and you feel like you've, you're done and you're satisfied, say, thank you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Amen. And then you go on about your business. Think of it like if you called your, let's just say you called your parent, okay? And you call your parent, you think, I've got to talk for an hour, you know? You're going to be trying, your, your talking isn't going to give you the quality, okay? But if you just call that parent and you talk about things and you try to find out things from them and how they're doing and they talk to you about your, then when you get done, you say, well, we'll talk to you later. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. You know, then you all hang up. It might be 14 minutes. It might be 34 minutes or it could be an hour. The point is you talk till you get done. The same way with prayer. You pray until you're happy with your prayer. You pray until you're satisfied. You pray till you've asked God or talked to God about everything you want to talk to him about. Then when you're done, you're done. You know, there was a scripture that I wanted to quote for you, and I'll, or I'll quote it to you. It's in Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 7, and I'm going to read it to you. It says this, said, uh, when you pray, now this is Jesus, okay? Jesus saying this. He said, when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases, as the Gentiles do. When you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. What he was telling them that was, they was praying, but their prayers was in vain. They was heaping up empty phrases. That's what I'm saying today. We can pray to take up 30 minutes. We can pray to take up an hour and heap all the empty phrases we want to with God. You know, have you been praying? Have you ever had to pray? And have you ever been on a situation like that when you get down to pray and you think, oh my goodness, you know, you're trying to pray for an hour and what happens so far into it, you get so sleepy. And before you know it, probably could be 15 minutes of that hour you've spent nodding off. What did it profit you? See, that wasn't getting anything done. Then you can get up, you can leave your room, and you can say, yeah, I prayed for an hour. But no, what it was, was you used up an hour of that time to tell somebody you was doing something for an hour. The quality, the quality. You know, I used to think, and of course, I've been a, a preacher. I, I started preaching a little over 30 years ago, okay? And so I've... I've preached many messages over the years. And when I first started preaching, I thought the same thing about preaching. I thought you had to preach an X amount of time to really feel like you had done something. I thought, you know, people won't really think of me as a preacher unless I go at least 45 minutes. And do you know what? A lot of times when I would get up there at a young age, I would look at my watch and I'd think, oh, well, I'm 30 minutes in. You know, I got to I gotta go 15 more minutes, and which usually I would go a little bit over, 50, you know, 15. I'd usually end up going over 45 minutes usually. But as I got older and I began, began to get deeper in the things of God, I seen where I could say the same thing. And if I got done in 31 minutes or if I got done in 25 minutes, 
you know, that was enough. What I wanted to speak, I wanted to say, I said it. And when I got it said, when I said what I felt like the Lord wanted me to tell those people, whoever I was preaching to that night, when I got done, I said, I've delivered my heart. Thank you. And I appreciate you listening tonight. Okay. If it was 25 minutes, it was 25 minutes. I understood then there's no sense in setting a time limit and saying, hey, you've got to preach a certain amount of time. The same way with praying. It says here, and, and a lot of people, and, and I'm going to share this with you real quick, if you'll give me this moment. Sometimes people take this from the verse where Jesus uh, took Peter, James, and John, and he told them, he said, come, and he said, come with me, and he said he was going to go pray. And the Bible said that Jesus left them in this one spot, and he went off, and he began to pray, and he began to, to pray right before the crucifixion where they was going to come and get him in the Garden of Gethsemane. And said, he come back to them and they was sleeping. And Jesus looked at them and he said, could you not watch with me one hour? And a lot of people, I think, use that verse and say, but Jesus didn't say pray with me an hour. He said, could you not watch with me one hour? And so Jesus never said pray an hour. You know, they was actually asleep, you know. So I think a lot of people take sometimes parts of the in parts of the Bible and they'll put their own mind to it. But Jesus never said pray for an hour. He said watch and pray. And he went to pray and so they was going to watch. And they fell asleep. That's where the hour come in. They fell asleep while Jesus was praying. So Jesus never set a time period. You know, the Apostle Paul, he prayed some good prayers that you'll read in the New Testament that, that he actually wrote down. Maybe three or four verses. You know, and it, and it's not saying you pray a certain amount of times a day. If you want to pray in the morning, if you want to pray during the day, if you want to go around, you can you can say a little silent prayer during the day. You know, thank you, Lord, for this, and thank you, Lord, for that. You know, and and just talk to Him. Just each and each and every time or any time of during the day you want to talk to the Lord, you can. So the answer today, and and I'm sorry if this has went just a little bit too long, but the answer today to the question. Is there a set time to pray or a set amount of time? Do I need to pray X amount of time when I pray? No, you don't. The scripture never says that. Again, Nehemiah's prayer took seven verses. The Lord's prayer takes about uh, probably 45 seconds. The thief on the cross, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Okay, now to really get down to business as a child of God and begin to pray, obviously, again, as I said, if you're calling a parent, you don't want to talk to them 30 seconds and hang up, okay? You don't want to do that. You want to talk to them a little bit longer. So I'm not saying just talk to them 30 seconds. What I'm saying is you talk to them till you get done. Pray till you get done. And if you pray an hour or two hours, that's wonderful. If it's quality praying, that's fine. But if you say what you want to say to God, if you give him praise and, and you get everything said in a prayer and you're done in 11 minutes, say, thank you, Lord, and just be with me. And I'm going to say amen and get to work and you'll be with me in spirit. Then you can talk to him again anytime during the day you want to. So if somebody comes up to you and wants to brag about it and say, I prayed an hour a day yesterday, say, praise the Lord, that's wonderful for you. You know, I don't, I don't doubt anybody for doing it, but you know, they can do what they want. But what I'm saying is don't make, don't make yourself feel any less. Don't make yourself feel like you're not what they are because they could have been asleep part of that time or they could have been heaping those vain, vain phrases that Jesus warned about when they was praying. They could have been, I'm not saying they would have been or they did, but I'm saying they could have been. The important part is don't let you be yourself. Don't you base yourself or your prayers on somebody else and the way they do. Because you are your own person. You've got your own style. And you, get this, you have your own relationship with God. Not theirs. They have their own. You have your own. So just pray till you get done. And then when you get done, say amen and pray again next time. I hope this video helps you. I hope that that these things are meant to help us in our walk with Christ. We hope you're enjoying them. Remember to check out our other videos and like, subscribe, leave a comment below. God loves you. God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next video.